all new hot and techy Brazza, the city bird SUV. Match 57 is effectively a playoff. It may come uh, to fruition towards the end of the league stage. Who picks up the points between Sunrisers Hyderabad and Lucknow Super Giants? With similar patterns going into this game, they've both won one out of their last three. Hyderabad have the comfort of finishing at home in their final three games. Lucknow will finish on the road in their final three games. All to play for as we build up to that game. On Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Rukin for timeout, powered by JBL. Mesh again, Wasim Jafar. We witnessed both the previous encounters for these teams. Let's start with the Sunrisers. Quick turnaround for them after losing to Mumbai. You don't expect to lose to a team that's struggling at this stage of the season. The first talking point, Wasim, is number three. Stick with Mayank or change it? I'll probably change it uh, because you've changed it uh, to get that uh, Marco Janssen uh, mm. to bowl uh, with the new ball. He hasn't uh, found form or he's, he doesn't look like the Marco Janssen we know. Uh, so that's also not working. So I'll probably get back to Jaide Unadkat or you could also go with Fazalak Faruqi. I mean, that's the call you need to take. Mayank Agarwal uh, looked out of sorts, obviously, because he hasn't played. Yep. Uh, he, he's got an opportunity after 10 games, so it's understandable he's going to be rusty. Uh, but I think number three is probably a better number for uh, Rahul Tripathi, uh, who's somebody who's bats at that number. Uh, but in, in all, uh, you know, the other way around, you could probably go with Makram, back again to Makram, or you could go with Glenn Phillips. He can give you that off-spin option as well. Brilliant fielder. Both of them are brilliant fielder. Both of them can bowl. Yeah, th there's no straight answer to this. It's a two-fold problem. Mm -hmm. One is who's at three. The other is the balance of the overseas. They yeah. go hand in hand. We look at the numbers. Sunrisers account for the third lowest average for number three batters. That could go even closer to the lowest average if we discount that two of the more prominent innings at number three were played by Abhishek Sharma. When Sunrisers started the season early on with Travis Head, Mayank Agarwal and Abhishek and then quickly changed that around. So, it is an area of concern. But you left Markram out. Does Markram coming back may mean progress or is there room for Glenn Phillips yeah. and an Indian batter at three? Yeah, look, it's a, it's a fascinating one, isn't it? Because they, they went with Marco Janssen because they wanted to uh, bolster their bowling while not having too much of an effect on their batting because Marco Janssen is getting better with the bat. He, he can hit the ball towards the end. So they tried to kill two birds with one stone, but... Unfortunately, it hasn't worked out for them in terms of Marco's bowling. So I think what they've got to do is go back to the All Indian bowling lineup, but barring Pat Cummings, um, and actually just go back to backing their batting and just say we are going to score more runs than the opposition. And I know that's a tough one to go back to, um, particularly with the way the surfaces that we've started to see. Um, they're not the flat wickets that we saw at the start of the competition, but I think they've got to pull all the eggs into their their strength, their, their batting basket. Um, so, so does that mean a return for Markram so, uh, or a game for yeah, Phillips it's, so it's, late in the season? Yeah, it's so tough, isn't it? Because you, you've got to look at, can you, do you want a number, genuine number three? And I think Markram's a genuine number three. Um, or do you go with Glenn Phillips, who's going to be that aggressor um, and he's going to continue to go at the same fashion that the top order is going to go at? So I, I think he could do that role. Um, but I could see them leaning back towards Markram because he's been there being part of the style of cricket that they've been trying to play and has, has got experience in IPL this year. All right, so give me your two changes if you were to make that call. You would go? Well, I would go Glenn Phillips. Glenn Phillips yeah. and the Indian bowler. And I go the Indian bowler. So, Unatkar, yeah. Markande, yeah, whatever Mark, it yeah. means. Wasim? I'll go with Markram. Uh, and I'll go because he's already played, he's already in touch. Yeah. Uh, so, he's got a hang of it, uh, you know, the IPL. Uh, Glenn Phillips hasn't played so far. Sure. So, so, so coming at the straight time. See. So, I'll go with Markram and I'll go with Unadkat and I'll go with Markande as well. You want Markande as well. All right, there you have it from uh, the Sunrise's point of view. LSG also have made changes so late in the season and it's coinciding with some indifferent form. So, do they go back to Quinton de Kock at the top of the order? Kyle Mayers, Arshin Kulkarni are a couple of hits. It's not quite looking the same. And it coincides with the other big gun in their overseas batting, Nicholas Puran, having, shall we call it a dip in form because the numbers tell us that an average of 30 and a strike rate of 153, most batters would think they're in form with an average of 30 and a strike rate of 153. But looking at how Puran started the tournament, is there any room for concern around Puran's form, Mitch? Uh, I, I don't think so. Um, I think we just haven't seen the return of runs that we used to seeing from Nicholas Puran. Still has the same amount of impact, but what he needs is the batters around him to mm -hmm. fire. 
uh, he's a guy who will feed off that momentum and, and be able to finish the game. And at the moment, I think because they're not firing around him, I, I think there's ex extra pressure on Nicholas Poran to to have a bigger tally of runs to his name, and and that's not really his his game. His game is to be impactful. So yeah, I, I think they've got to figure out how they bolster that side, like you were talking about. Yeah. And I think it starts at the top. I think you've got to you've you've got to look at bringing some experience in. Um, for KL Rahul and, and for Marcus Stoinis at the top, whether it's a Mayers or a Quinton de Kock returning. Yeah, it's funny that they changed that because it seems to have unsettled the tempo of the entire batting, fair to say. Yeah, I mean, I was surprised uh, with their selection policies. Uh, you know, they've they've gone through, they played Shamar Joseph one game, then they played a couple of games to Matt Henry, mm. and now they've gone back again uh, to Navinul Haq. So I didn't understand why they dropped Navinul Haq. Uh, similarly, Ashin Kulkarni, he he's not yeah. supposed to play uh, at this point of time. Uh, he hasn't hit, you know lit up the under-19 World Cup. He's not somebody who's coming back with form. Yeah. Uh, so I wouldn't have dropped Quinton de Kock. Yeah, we injured, believe there was some kind of injury, but you yeah. have a like for like international yeah. replacement. If, if he was injured, I would have picked my Mayers uh, because like for like he gives you one or two overs uh, with sure. the new ball. He had a very good Bangladesh Premier League as well, so he knows this condition. He's played well last season. So I won't have made much changes. Kyle Mayers comes in yeah. and I would have stuck with the same team. All right, fair enough. So either Mayers or even if they go back to the cock, if yep. he is fit, is the way to go. Can you pick a favourite? Sunrisers or Lucknow? This is at Hyderabad, of course. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with Sunrisers. Yeah. I'll, I'll go with Sunrisers. Oh, all right. Panel seems to lean towards Sunrisers. Thank you, Mr. McClanagan, Wasim Jafar. Uh, it's all to play for in Hyderabad and the panel is backing the home team. This was our build-up to it on Maruti Suzuki Arena Presents. ESPN Dragon for Timeout, powered by JBL. New hot and techy breast up the city bird SUV.